Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the ways you can use OverDrive to download books onto your computer or read them in your browser. I'll be using Windows 10 to show you how to first download the OverDrive app. Once we've done that, I'll show you how to access your OverDrive account through our library and we'll discuss some of the options available to you when searching for a book on OverDrive. I'll also demonstrate how to check out a book and open it up in various formats to help you pick the best option for your particular needs, and we'll finish up by talking returns, renewals, and holds. Let's get started by opening up the Windows Store tab, where we'll download OverDrive for free. So the Windows app I have down here, I'm going to search directly for OverDrive, the first app here. Overdrive Library and eBooks and Audio. We click on that and install it. It should install pretty quickly. All right, we are going to open Overdrive. Now you don't have to sign up if you have a library which subscribes to Overdrive, such as the Mary Riley Styles Public Library. So if you have a Mary Riley Styles Public Library card, you have an account. All right, we're gonna sign in using our library card. And if you belong to a different library who subscribes to OverDrive, you can type their name in there. But we're gonna click on the Mary Riley Styles Public Library. We're gonna put in our card number. Our card number um, for Mary Riley Styles is going to be on the back of your library card. There's a barcode. Underneath that barcode is a list string of numbers. You can type in those numbers. And then type in your PIN. The standard PIN for Mary Riley Styles Public Library is four ones. You may have changed your own, own PIN in your account or set up a different PIN. In that case, you're gonna use your custom PIN. But we're gonna use those two combinations to sign in. Now we're in our OverDrive app. We have the Mary Riley Styles Library added. You can also add other libraries if you belong to different libraries who also subscribe to OverDrive. You may have access to different books in those libraries, so I'd recommend signing in with your other library cards as well. If we want to download uh, or open a book in a browser or search and see what kind of books are available, we can go into OverDrive through that link. Here we have a lot of different options available to us. We can search for books or browse for them. First thing we want to do though is sign in here. We're going to use the same library card number and PIN to sign in here. and that will give us access to our library's OverDrive account. And that will give us access to our OverDrive account. You can search for books up in the top bar here if you know specifically what you want, and I recommend doing that if you're looking for a specific book. Otherwise, there are a lot of browse options as well. You can browse new eBooks, new audiobooks, most popular titles, um, you can also just browse through fiction and nonfiction in ebook and audiobook formats. There's also a section for kids and teens. I am going to start out by going into fiction, into literature. All right, here we have uh, a bunch of books and a list of filters on the side. We can search for uh, all titles. And, and browse all of the titles, or we can browse what's available now. Some of these books are already checked out by other patrons. You can tell which ones are when you look at the icon in the top right corner of each book. When the, bo uh, when the little book here in the corner is grayed out, that means it's already checked out by someone. So I can't borrow the book, I have to place a hold. If the, if the little book in the top right corner is black and white, that means you can borrow the book immediately. The filters available on the left side also include format. There are four different formats you can check out books with on OverDrive. 
The Kindle book can be used on Kindle devices, but also on other devices if you download the Kindle reading app. So you can use um, Kindle book formats on iPads or Nooks, depend if you have that app. Overdrive Read can be used in your browser, so you don't need to download anything. As long as you have access to Wi-Fi, you can read your book. But you do need access to the internet to be able to open it. EPUB allows you to read your document as a PDF through Adobe and automatically adjusts to fit your screen. This is helpful when it comes to enlarging text. The regular PDF ebooks are another option. While they are also downloaded through Adobe Reader, it does not allow for zooming in to adjust text. This format is the best for graphic novels and illustrated books, though. All right, I'm going to uh, limit my search to books available now. And that gives me all books I can check out immediately. From here, I can either scroll over the book and just borrow it immediately from here, or I can click on the title down here and open up more information about the book. Here, I'll I'll have more uh, I'll have a description and better information, um, and it shows me what formats it's available in. So if I want to borrow this book. I click borrow and it, it prompts me to go to the bookshelf. From here we can collect, connect directly to the bookshelf uh, in our account or we can connect from this link down here, go to the bookshelf or even by just clicking on our account. This shows all of the books we have currently checked out. So for some of the books we have different options. For this book, House of the Rising Sun, we have the option to download it. We don't have the option to read in our browser. For Amy Tan's Joy, The Joy Luck Club, we can read it in our browser or download it. You'll also notice that The House of the Rising Sun has the prompt to return the title down here, while Fear of Flying and The Joy Luck Club, Club don't have the same button. If you download a book onto your OverDrive app or to a Kindle, you lose the option to return that title. It will expire on its own and you won't get charged for any late fees, but you cannot send the book back early. If you read the book in your browser, the return title early will still be available. House of the Rising Sun gives us two options for downloading. We can download it as a Kindle book or as an EPUB ebook. I don't have a Kindle, so we would have to do the EPUB ebook. So we confirm and download. We can go straight to our bookshelf or we can keep browsing. If we go to our bookshelf, it shows us everything we have downloaded. The other two titles on my bookshelf in OverDrive are not downloaded, so they are not available here. I can open up the book we're reading and it gives us this format. When you click on the right pages, you move to the right. If you click on the left side, you can move back. There is a bookmark tab in the top right corner. If you click that, it'll mark pages for you. You can mark multiple pages at a time. If you right click, it gives you a few more options. You can look at details which tells you when the book is when the book will expire, um, as well as gives you a summary of information. You can also go move through sections of the book and adjust your settings. This, there are some very interesting settings in here. You can change the size of the font, making it larger. You can change the line spacing, giving you more room between the text to make it easier to read, um, as well as change the size of the margins. There are different color schemes. You have your standard. You have one that is better for night reading for some people, uh, as well as a sepia toned one. And there are a few other different features you can change and adjust there. All right. Um, well that's the, those are the basic features for the books. If you right click the book, it'll give you some options on the bottom where you can return and delete. You can either delete 
but do not return, or you can delete and return your item. If you delete and return, it will take it off of all of your accounts. You won't have that book anymore. If you still want to read the book, but you don't want to have it downloaded, you'd rather read it in a browser, you can delete but do not return. I'm going to delete and return. All right. If we go into our library again and go into our account, we'll see that we do not have that book in the account anymore. It is gone. We have these other books that we're going to look at in browser, though. So the Joy Luck Club, when we read it in browser, is going to look pretty similar. It's a little bit smaller, but we can adjust the size. The menu options are in the left corner here. And there are different features. You can search, mark, uh, look through chapters. There's also the bookmark feature. Um, our bookmarks are a little bit different when you're reading in browser. They're in the top middle part of the screen. You can click them to activate and deactivate them. And again, you can have multiple bookmarks. The readability settings are pretty interesting. You can do, again, change the lighting for day or for night. You also have different, tech, uh, different texts available. So you can change what the font looks like. You can, of course, change the size here. Uh, one of the most interesting fonts is the assistive font, which is designed for people who have dyslexia to make it easier to read, which is one of the nicest features, I think, about this. Uh, one more feature to look at is going to be this one down in the middle of the page. Once you've changed the font, though, you do need to recenter by changing the page number. Otherwise, it's going to come out kind of funky like it just was. But you can have a single string of text, or you can do double page like a typical book. So we've already talked a little bit about returning. Um, but if we go back into our account, you'll notice that none, neither of these books has the option for returning because I have downloaded them both onto my computer. Um, they will expire within the time period. This one expires here, you can see, in 17 days. This one expires in 21. If you want to renew a book and no one is in line to, uh, or no one has a hold on the book, you will be prompted three days before your title expires to renew the book. You can click on that to renew it or request it again. Uh, on the right side, of our account, there are a few more things I'll mention. Uh, you can look at your holds, what you currently have on hold. Currently, I don't have anything. You can also look at lists that you can make, uh, wish lists, rated, rated titles, the books that are recommended for you, or titles that you recommend. You can also change certain settings, such as your lending periods or maturity levels, as well as a few others. Down here, you'll notice there's a checkout limit of seven books. Currently, I have two items checked out. If you if you like to download your books um, and you don't want to return them right away after you've downloaded them, you want to look at them in a browser, you may want to change your format to 14 days or seven days, especially if you go through the books quickly and you don't want to have them just sitting around on your account. Um, that will allow you to check out more books in the long run. That's it for this introduction to Overdrive. I hope everyone picked up at least a useful tidbit or two. Happy e-reading!